A hundred years ago this month, young Australian soldiers landed at Gallipoli and within a few months, 8,000 of them had died there. Sadly, since that war to end all wars, there have been many more. Terrorism and religious persecution are now also major concerns, especially in the Middle East, Africa and Asia. This brings us back to our Easter origins. Jesus was hounded and executed, and he warned his disciples to expect the same. Two millennia later, we recognise that Christians are not alone among the oppressed and have sometimes been the oppressors. But the overwhelming majority of those persecuted for their faith today are Christians. In Lent, especially, Christians face up to evil in the world and ourselves and repent. Yet Pope Francis has warned us not to live in a perpetual Lent. Easter is the horizon for the Christian. Easter is the victory of God's love over the forces of evil. And it is a reality here and now in the church. To assume permanently grim faces and turn on those who differ from us ethnically or religiously would be to lose sight of Easter. Easter says, whatever darkness we experience in our world or our lives, there is ultimately a greater brightness. There is the greater good that is the living God and no creature can match him. There is the universe that he has entrusted to us with all its beauty and opportunity. There are the gifts of human life, intellect, love and freedom. There are great human achievements down through the centuries, noble choices made every day, acts of generosity or heroism often unseen. And there is the victorious grace of Easter, effected in the ongoing work of Christ in his church, redeeming the world and making sinners into saints. Christ is the light of the world, a light Easter attests could not be overcome by the darkness. He is the resurrection and the life, a life Easter proves death cannot conquer. He is our hope, a hope that sustains us when all seems lost. Easter shows that divine love conquers all. Pope Francis exhorts us to be zealous for justice and peace. With gospel joy, we must shine Easter light on the dark places where people are thrown away, lonely, anxious, despairing. I pray that the peace won at the first Easter will fill our hearts and our land. May the clergy, religious and faithful of Sydney be those missionary disciples Pope Francis is calling us to be. May we be beacons of faith, hope and love, like Jesus Christ, who was kindly light amid the encircling gloom. Peace be with you.